You know what time it is? Prime Day. You know what that means? Every other retailer doing a sale to compete with Prime Day. And that's okay. We like to pay less for things. At least I do. And I'm here to tell you how to make the most of Prime Day or any sales really, because you're probably doing it wrong. These are the things that I do to make the most when I know there's going to be a big sale, whether that is Prime Day, Black Friday or anything in between. Prime Day big deal days like this can be super, super overwhelming. And from what I've found, it's not the easiest to navigate. The deal page on Amazon doesn't always show you all of the things that you wanna see. Here's the things that I like to do to try and make this easier. If you are navigating the deals page on Amazon, on the top, it will show different categories, beauty, home, lightning deals, things like that. But what I also like to do is that if you go to the search bar, when you're on the deals page, you can search by deals. If there is a specific brand that you're looking to see if anything from them is on deal, you can actually just search the brand and it'll search all of the deals for that specific brand. Or if you're looking for specific products like a vacuum, a blow dryer, things like that, you can search specifically for that. So utilize the deals filter on the search bar because it'll make a huge difference and makes it a lot easier. I always make sure to utilize wish lists. It's so easy on Amazon especially to just move things to the save for later. Trust me, I'm super guilty of it. I think my save for later at one point, right now might be that point, had or has like 400 things in it. I don't know about for you guys, but for me, every single time I try and navigate through the save for later, it gets super laggy once you get through the first, I don't know, 20 items, especially on the mobile app, it is an absolute nightmare to get through. So it's just not worth it. Utilizing the wish list on Amazon just makes life so much easier. On the mobile app, you could just click the heart next to the item. It'll automatically save to there. Wish lists are also really great because when you go back to reference them, they will tell you if the price is lower and they'll also show you if there are clickable coupons that you can stack on top of deals. I love seeing all of this from a glance on my wish list without having to click on the actual product page. It just makes life easier. This is also a really, really good idea if you are someone who kind of blanks when it comes to gift giving, I really recommend making a gift list on Amazon. And anytime you see something that you think somebody might like, just add it to that list. And then you can always go back there and reference it and see if it's still a good idea. Stock up on regulars. When it's Prime Day, when it's these big sales, the focus tends to be on these big ticket items, new vacuum, a new speaker, TVs, these huge items. But a lot of the times your regulars are on sale too whether that's cleaning products, groceries, toiletries, things like that that you buy all of the time. Even better is a lot of the times during Prime Day, they'll have an extra bonus percentage off if you do subscribe and save. And with subscribe and save, you literally could cancel it after getting it for one month. So if there are things you don't need right away, sometimes what I'll do is just get it the next month and then cancel the subscription and then you get an extra percentage off, you already get the Prime Day or whatever deal it's on, and it's like a bonus. So you're getting two deals stacked on top of each other, and it's awesome. This is a good time to check for things that you know that you'll use all of the time. Toilet paper, paper towels, toothpaste, soap. If you need new mascara, foundation, those are the kind of things I like to check on. For example, I always, every single Prime Day, I check Lancome mascara and primer because I love them. I'll check the It Cosmetics CC cream because I love it as well. And I'll end up usually getting them because I always know that they're going to be on deal. The Laneige lip balm is always on deal. There's just certain things that I will wait to get until Prime Day because I always use them and I always know I can stock up on those days. Another thing is to check things that you might need to replace. This is always when I will go around and see, do we need new towels? Do I need new kitchen towels? Do I need kitchen scrubber brushes? I don't use sponges. Sponges gross me out like nobody's business. So I always use the like scrubber brushes. Do we need new bed sheets? Are my bed sheets disgusting? Do I need new pillows? Does my husband have any socks that don't have holes in them? <laughs> Any kind of home refresh things. These are always on seriously amazing deals. And now is the time to check if you need them. My thing this time is going to be hangers. Been doing some like mid-size videos. My clothes are out of control. I definitely need to get new hangers. So I've been waiting until Prime Day because I know they're gonna be on sale. The next thing I'll do usually is think 
of little splurges. Now these are things that maybe I've had my eye on for a while. This might be where, you know, you think I really wanted to try that foundation. I really wanted to try that skincare item. Maybe it's something for your kitchen. Just fun kind of items like that. If you're looking for fun kitchen items, Highly recommend Ototo. This has been one of my favorite brands lately. I know that they're gonna have some really cute stuff on sale for Prime Day, but they just have the funnest, most adorable, yet functional kitchen stuff. And they have a lot of really cute Halloween themed items. They have this popcorn popper that's like a skull. They have this really cute iced coffee skull cup. I'm obsessed with them. I just love their stuff so much, it's so cute. It's also a great time to look for clothes. Tons and tons of brands are going to be having amazing deals for clothes. If you're looking to get more cooler weather clothing, this is a great time to look for that as well. I personally really have been liking the Zigu Accor brands. That's what this is. I'll have a link to some of the stuff that I've been wearing that are mid-size friendly. Belief is another one that I really like their stuff as well. So I'll link below the ones that I've been really loving lately. This time of year, it's a really great time to think of gifts. I know this is kind of pre-Black Friday. Because this is an Amazon Prime Day thing, I think that deals are going to be adjacent to Black Friday pricing. So if you see something that you like, it might be worth picking up. But this is a great time to consider starting to pick up gifts so that you don't end up like I do every single year where I am at like the tail end of gift buying and buying stuff all last minute. It's not very fun, I don't recommend it. And then of course, the big splurges. Obviously, sales like this are going to be perfect if you have been waiting to pick up a big ticket item, whether that be a new vacuum, a robot vacuum, a robot mop combo. I cannot recommend getting one of these enough. Trust and believe your life will change for the better. There will be plenty, plenty of sales with these big ticket items. Some of the ones I would absolutely recommend checking out. The robot vacuum that I have is the Dbot X2 Omni, but I've also had the X1 Omni. This is a vacuum mop combo. It is going to vacuum and mop your floors at the same time. It auto empties, it auto cleans the mops, it auto dries the mops, very little maintenance. If you have a lot of hard floors, tile, hardwood floors, anything like that, truly a game changer in just taking something off of your mind, off of your plate to not have to worry about your floors. Like 80% less. You have to worry about your floors 80% less. If you garden, having a compost bin is really cool. And if you don't have the space outside or you live somewhere like in an apartment, an electric compost bin is really cool. I recently got this one from Nikasa. It is honestly really shockingly cool. It's an electric one and you could put just about everything in there, even meats, because it can heat up and dehydrate and dehumidify and all of that, you can put things like meat in there that would in a non-electric one go rancid. You really can utilize all of your food waste and then you can use it when you're gardening for your regular house plants or if you are, you know, growing your own vegetables, fruit, anything like that. It's super, super easy. We just have ours right next to our regular trash can. It's just a matter of food waste in one, trash in the other, and it keeps all of the smell in there. So it's just... I can't believe how simple it is. Other splurges I would recommend. Smart lighting has absolutely changed my life. Govi is my absolute favorite brand ever. That would be something I would highly recommend. Their TV backlights beyond my favorite thing ever. They will react to whatever movie, TV show, game that you're playing and it changes everything. It is super, super, super cool. A pet hair vacuum is another one. If you have a dog that sheds a lot, quality of life item right here full game changer. They're nice and quiet and they just collect all the hair as you brush them. It will make your whole entire existence so much better. And then last but not least is Compare. Like I said, a lot of different companies are also doing big sales at the same time as Prime Day. And sometimes you can find better deals on different companies pages than on others. I know especially for Black Friday, I remember going and looking at Sephora for certain deals and then realizing that if I just went to the brand website, I would find up to 40% off if I just ordered directly from the beauty brand versus trying to buy on Ulta or Sephora. This is also the case a lot of times when it comes to big deal days like 
Prime Day. This ended up happening a couple of months ago as well. It wasn't on Prime Day or anything, but I needed to get a new carpet cleaner. I got the Bizzle Hydro Steam. Originally found it on Amazon, thought that was the best deal. Then saw it on Walmart for cheaper and then ended up seeing it at Kohl's for a lot cheaper with the Kohl's cash. So it ended up being, I think, $100 cheaper and then something like $60 in Kohl's cash that I could use to get other things at Kohl's. So it's definitely worth looking around to see if one of those big ticket items have a better deal at the other stores that are doing deals. I have links below to all of my recommendations and I will be adding them throughout the day. And then tomorrow I will be sharing what I ended up picking up. I'm gonna end up picking up some stuff, not as much as I did in July, but I do need a couple of things. I really wanna hear what you guys are gonna get. I'm very, very curious. So let me know. See you later.